we're in Premiere Pro, I already have my clip and my glass texture already loaded in. You can find glass textures just by Googling glass texture overlay, glass shatter overlay, broken glass overlay, broken glass texture, and then just downloading one. So I'm gonna show you two ways how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Premiere Pro, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop, which is kind of like a an easier way you could say. So if we look at the clip, you know, it's a dual, dual split screen clip and then I think the broken glass will make it look super cool or whatever. The broken glass we're gonna be using is this one. Have it right in the middle with a lot of shards, super easy to mask out. So, you know, I'd imagine pick one of this, but it's just a lot of shards. So the more shards you have, obviously the more time it's gonna take. So first things first, I'm going to have my video clip on video one, the layer one, and I shouldn't have anything over it. So I'm gonna drag my overlay over the video if we take a look at it, the overlay is too small for the video. There's um, uh, black edges on the overlay and it just doesn't look nice. So first thing, we're gonna fix the overlay. So I'm gonna select my overlay, click it. I'm gonna go ahead and click set to frame size. That's gonna scale it up. You can see that it didn't hit the edge because this is a square overlay. So I'm gonna scale it up even more. Make sure my clip is selected. I'm gonna go to my effects and controls panel. Now that is usually um, next to your source panel. So here's the effects and controls panel. If you can't find it, just go to window effects and controls, make sure that's selected. And then from here, I'm going to click on the scale and I'm just going to increase it by clicking on the numbers and dragging them up. Take a look at the video. I'm just going to drag them up enough just so that the lines cover all of the uh, sides of the video. So now we need to do is we need to get rid of this black ugliness that's, that came with the overlay. So there's a lot of ways to do it. You can almost it, you can do whatever. What I like to do is just change the blend mode, especially if it's glass, you know, it gives it more of a uh, realistic look. So on the blend mode, I'm gonna click this drop down, and I'm gonna click um, pretty much in this little lighten screen color dodge, it takes out the black. You just use that or think of it like that. So I'm going to click on lighten. That looks good. And then I like to just go through them just to see which one probably looks the best. And I usually like color dodge a lot. So that's probably what I'm going to use. All right. So now that we have the glass effect on the video, now we can start doing the different pieces and the shadows or whatever. And there's really no secret to this um, except just doing it by hand and you know taking however long it needs to take and obviously the more shards you have the more how you want it to look the more the longer it's going to take so we're going to do one in premiere and then one in photoshop and you guys pretty much know how to do all of them to do your whole video so yeah so first things first is what i like to do is i like to have my bottom layer the video layer and then i like to duplicate the video layer so i can mess with the effects and do whatever I want and so I just have a backup at the bottom. So I'm going to hold alt, I'm going to select my video layer and I'm going to drag it up and that will duplicate the video. And so once you duplicate the video, the pretty much the next thing is moving the top layer of the video to pretty much wherever you want. So I'm going to pick a, I'm going to pick a shatter now. So I'm going to pick this shatter right here. I'm going to select my top layer video and I'm just going to adjust the scale in my effects control panel. I'm going to adjust the scale and then move the video to however I want it to look. So I'm, I'm imagining right now the this shatter portion only and seeing how the video will look. So if I look at it, you can see that um, slump is cut off right here and that would not look good in the video, right? So I'm going to move it back and find a good, good part. So it's probably something like this. So if you look at the video, Something like this will look uh, decently, probably scale it down a little bit more. And even then, you don't have to fill the whole video as in like the outside here because it's only going to be in that uh, shattered portion, right? So if you look at it, that's uh, something a little bit better if I... And that's kind of pretty much the most we can get out of this clip, so... So we'll just use this portion for the example. And remember, it's a stylistic choice. Like you don't have to make it look realistic. Like no one's going to know what a shattered glass refraction of an image is actually going to look like. So just make it look stylistically the best however you want it, right? 
So once you dot exactly where you want it to be, or that portion of the shatter, you're going to select the clip that you just moved and put the effects on, right click it, and click nest. And then you can name it shatter. Sometimes I don't like to name it just because, you know, time. And the reason I like to do this is because if I don't like what, uh, however I moved it, which is uh, often, I can double click the nested sequence and then I can just move the nested sequence in here and then it'll move back the whole thing and at the same time I can keep the same mask. So I'm going to move this back and now we just need to mask out the now nested sequence. So I'm gonna still have the nested layer still selected. In the effects control panel under opacity, click this little free draw bezier tool and that's gonna bring up your mask tool. And then now some tips on some masking right here underneath your video preview where it says fit. If you select a different percentage, it will zoom into your video and this will help a lot with masking. So I'm gonna click on 50%. And then with my overlay still showing up on the video, I'm just going to click you know, pretty much where the shatter is or where the crack is. And then I'm just going to painstakingly, uh, you know, mask out the video following the broken parts of the glass, right? It's very simple, you know, nothing too crazy. It's just, you know, uh, yeah, it's... okay. And so now, if we look at the video, we should have a masked out portion, and you can see right here it's already doing the broken glass effect. You can see how it's kind of shattered or whatever, and you know, it's like it looks different, and it, there's a little cool effect, whatever. And that's basically how you do it in Premiere. So, the next step is to do it in Photoshop, which uh, may be faster in some cases, but if you don't have Photoshop, you know, this is just how you do it. So so now we need to get our glass overlay in Photoshop. Um, an easy way to do that is on your image, your broken glass image, just go ahead and right click and click edit in Adobe Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop, all we need to do now is make mats for the shatters. And we're gonna make a mat for every single shatter. So first things first I like to do is I just like to make a new layer so I don't forget it. And I'm going to name this mat use because I have other mats ready. Um, and so now all we need to do is on this mat use layer is pretty much using the same technique we use in Premiere Pro, um, where I'm going to select the empty layer. I'm going to go to my polygonal lasso tool. I like to use this for straight lines. And then I'm going to just follow along with the cracks or the shatters of the you know glass texture all the way to the end of the, the preview double click and it should finish the mask. And you can see now that uh, this shatter is highlighted and dotted. And then uh, with my new layer still selected, I didn't change any layers. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool on the new Photoshop. I'm gonna click on more tools down here, the three dots. And I'm going to, I'm going to find the paint bucket, which is right here. My color, I'm going to select it white. And then I'm going to just select inside my mask I made then it made a mat. What you would want to do is you would want to make a mat for every single shatter. So you can see I already did that with the overlay on top. And after you pretty much do this, all you need to do is save it as a PSD. So I'm gonna press Control S, but you go ahead and click File, Save, Save, and a PSD will pop up, Save As, a window will pop up. Go ahead and click on Save on your computer. A window will pop up and then save it as whatever glass PSD. And now when you come back into Premiere Pro, all you need to do is go back to your project window. You need to go back to your project window, double click in your project window, and then open up the broken glass PSD. And then this little window will pop up where it says merge all layers, click individual layers, click OK. And then a little folder will be imported right here. And all of your mats will be right here, including your broken glass texture and whoop do. So pretty much how you use this now is we're gonna do the same technique. We're gonna duplicate our video now. So I'm going to move this shatter up so we do not get confused. I'm going to select our bottom layer now, our bottom video layer. Hold Alt on the keyboard, drag it up, new video layer. And the same technique, I'm going to go to my effects and controls panel now. 
I'm gonna pick a shard. Since we have all the mats already here, I'm gonna pick this mat, mat three. So it should be this shard right here, correct? Which pretty much is the same shard we use. So I'm gonna pick this mat two, which is this shard right here. And with my new video layer selected, go to effects controls, scale, scale it up. Really the scaling really kind of sells the effect, not gonna lie, because it's it's already, it's just more dimensions to it. You can also just move the video, you know, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, which will also sell it, but yeah. So I scaled it up um, 23 and I moved it a little bit to the right. I'm going to grab the image mat that we just made and I'm going to drag this over our video. I didn't shorten it enough. I'm going to cut the excess. And I'm going to drag it over our video clip. Just like this. One thing you notice is we made an image mat for the Photoshop and remember our overlay was four by three aspect ratio and not 16 by nine. So easy fix, I'm gonna to go to my top layer, which is the glass shatter overlay layer. I'm going to right click, click copy. And then on my mat layer, I'm just gonna click, I'm going to right click and click paste attributes. And then right here where it says motion, make sure that's selected, scale, and that should be fine. And it should fit to where we need it to fit. Now, before we go any further, we forgot one step in the duplication process is we need to nest our layers. Always nest your layers, trust me. So we're gonna right click our clip, click nest. We're gonna name it uh, shatter two. And then now we, need, now we can go on to the effect. So I'm gonna put the mat right over our shatter two layer. I'm going to go to the effects panel now and I'm going to type in track mat key and underneath keen track mat key is right here. I'm going to drag that onto our shatter nest layer. And then in the effects control with our shatter nest layer selected, you can see this little track mat key effect popped up on the mat. You're going to select video four. Now the reason we select video four is right here in the timeline where it says video one, two, three, four our mat layer which is our mat that we imported in is in video 4 and then so we just need to click on video 4 and you can do mat alpha or mat luma um, it doesn't really matter for this uh, sense and that's basically how you do that and so if you play the video we have multiple shatter effects uh, working out now I just added some quick stylistic lumetri color corrections and you can definitely see the shatter effect going on now stylistically and that's basically how you pretty much do the shatter effect. You can also add a RGB separation effect which will kind of give it more of a shatter effect. This is a plugin from Red Giant Universe. I'm just adding this because I know a lot of my viewers already have Universe. If you add it to the shatter effect or one of these shatter layers and then just uh, increase the radius, it gives it more of a shatter effect. If you add it to um, the broken glass texture overlay, it gives it more of a re refraction effect, kind of, you know, a lot of people don't really know what refraction really looks like, but you know, it gives it more of a, a stylistic effect, cool effect, intense, whatever. That's basically it for this tutorial. If you liked the video, like, and if you like more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, appreciate you for watching. Thank you. Peace out.